Hi, this is David Haslett, and I want to show you how you can do a drawing that pops out. That's how I, what I call it. What I'd like to do is I like to show how to draw a shape and then turn it into a form. So in art, when we talk about shape, we talk about 2D, something that's flat, like a square. And when we talk about form, we talk about something that's 3D, like a cube. So if you're looking at my screen, what I'm, where I'm drawing, I'm going to first start off simple, just like what I said. Here is a square. Now, if I want to make this into a cube, this is an easy trick. I just look at the corners, and from each corner, I'm going to draw a line that's maybe 45 degrees up one direction. Because I'm right-handed, it's just easier for me to flick a shape a little bit up to the right. Now, to make this pop out really well, I need to copy that same kind of shape. So same angle, same length from each corner. Here's another corner where it'll work. And here, this corner, I could also use this one. But if I do, it's going to be see-through, like a nice cube. So I'm going to avoid that this time. Now that I've got those shapes right there for my depth, I'm going to look at what I'm starting with, this square. The top goes straight across, so the back's going to go straight across. The side, front side, straight up and down, vertical. The back, straight up and down, vertical. That's my popped out cube from square shape to cube form. So here's where people go wrong. They may do a square and then these lines all go slightly different directions. And then when I try to finish it off, it's almost there. It looks 3D-ish, but not quite. We know it's because of those angles. They're not parallel. Next, where people go wrong, they may draw lines that have different lengths. So here I'm drawing one here that goes way off to the right. And then they've just, in their mind, they're not thinking about this. It's so easy to do, but they disconnect the ends of the line. So they just go boom, boom. And they think, no, I'm exaggerating, but they think something there is not right. So again, if the front goes straight across, the back's going to go straight across. Side goes up and down vertical, the back's going to go vertical too. That's how you do that. So what about a more complicated shape? Sometimes from here, I like to show just a regular pickup truck. I'm going to go cartoony, but it proves the point here. And then we'll get to a more complicated shape. So here, if I draw this simple cartoon truck right here, really simple, I know. But you can see the square-ish forms here, right? We're getting a little bit more complicated. I'm going to look at each of these corners. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with that square going up to the right, this one, I can't really see, so I'm gonna skip that. Here, up to the right, same length, same angle. There we go. And I may even show just a little bit on the tires, but their thickness is gonna make a change. I'll get back to those in a little bit. So here, I've done those angles. I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see a bit better. And now I'm gonna copy the front like I did with the square. So this slopes up a little bit on that front hood. The top of that cab goes straight across, straight up and down. Here's the truck bed. I'm going to go straight across. And the back, that tailgate, I'm going to go up and down like that too. There's my car. Now, if I want to add a little bit of depth in the truck bed, I can just do this one line right here. And all of a sudden, I've got some of that depth. And then I can add some other details, maybe a rear view mirror. The depth of the wheels, I'm just going to choose a thickness and just tuck it underneath that car body. And then I can do other type details. What does this look like? Now, from here, I can also refine the form. I can change it up a little bit just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Sometimes we do that. We get the basic shape when it's boxy, and then we modify it from there. So what do you do when you have a more complicated shape? I'm looking around here for something a little bit more complicated. What about this projector that I'm using? I'm going to draw part of it here, the front. And then I'm going to draw this base first and have the rest of it grow from that base. So if I were to look sideways, I've got all the different components connect. I'm going to pop it out so it gets thicker. So I'm looking at each of these corners. I'm going up to the right. 
Straight across goes the front, so straight across goes the back. Here's my vertical. And now from here, I notice these different stripes, and I've got this section in the back where the, this neck comes out, and then I've got the, um, the camera itself. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show where it comes from. I'm going to draw a cylinder, and then I'm going to draw this neck as it comes up. I'm going to look to see where it comes across, as if I were to see side view. and then to show some depth. Now this part that I'm actually looking at is round, but I'm gonna start boxy like I mentioned, go around a little bit, and then I'm gonna show where that actual viewer is, and that's gonna be down like this. There we go. So you can see I'm using the same idea. I'm going up to the right from the form that I first started with. I'm going, I first started drawing this front face and then I'm popping it out that way. So you can use this so many ways. Here it's getting a little bit more complex, but this is such a good technique to use. It's a great way to share ideas. If you can make it 3D, you're just showing your ideas to the next level. There we go, popping out images.